Hey, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark. This is the second video of our series. In this video, I am going to teach you how you can prepare your environment for deep security installation. There are few things which needs to be considered before you install or let's say prepare your organization for your deep security manager installation. And guys, if you know what are the things needs to be considered, then please pause the video and list down all the requirement in comment section below. I'm going to review each and every comment written by you. Now, hopefully you have write it down your thoughts in the comment section below. So let's start with the video. Friends, here are some requirements which we have to consider before installation of Deep Security Manager. That is your CPU, hard disk, RAM, internet and server operating system as well as the database. And also make sure that you are going to install your uh, application which is Deep Security Manager and database on the same server or on different different server like this. Guys, I always recommend to install Deep Security Manager on different different server if you have more than 50 nodes. Now guys, I will show you some of the reference links which will help you to consider your system requirement. Friends, when you are preparing your server for deep security insertion, the very first thing should come in your mind is number of agent on which you are going to install the deep security agent. So let's say on 500 agents, I am going to install deep security manager. And the second point should come into our mind is number of location. So here I will consider that I have two locations, one is Singapore and second is India. The third point which we will have to consider is agent server operating system. like. In my environment, I have Windows, Red Hat, CentOS. So these are the types of operating system I have. The fourth option is DSM modules because some people uh, choose all the modules which is available in deep security and some people only choose IPS. IPS is intrusion prevention. So basis on the requirement, you please check all the your system requirement as well as please purchase DSM module wisely. And if in case you don't know what is this deep security module, then please go and watch my very first video that is deep security manager introduction link is available in the description as well as the i button at upper right corner so in this video we are going to consider all the dsm modules which is available so here in high level i have got my ask that what are the uh, things i have in my environment accordingly we'll now choose the size for our deep security manager server the very first thing i'm going to choose is deep security manager operating system on which i'm going to install deep security application so let's check out that so for this, let's open the browser and search here Deep Security Manager System Requirement and hit enter. This is the very first link which says System Requirement Deep Security Help Center. Let's open that. Okay, here is the version. So we are going with the very top one Deep Security 20 LTS. This is the latest version guys. So always go with the latest version. Okay, so right now we are into the System Requirement page. So scroll all the way down. And basis on your expertise, you can choose Windows Server or Linux Server for your installation. So here I am going to choose Windows Server 2019 64-bit. So in my environment, I have Windows Server 2019 license server. So I will be installing Deep Security Manager application on this server. So now my concern is solved that where I am going to install Deep Security Manager, then that is Windows Server 2019 64-bit. Now next thing we have to consider is what is the type of my database server. Since I have 500 plus servers, that's the reason I am going with the SQL server. And guys, if in case you have less than 10 servers uh, on which you are going to install the Deep Security Agent, then you can go with the Microsoft SQL Server Express, which is a completely free. But it, since my in my environment, I have 500 plus servers, hence I am going to choose Microsoft SQL Server 2019. So you can also uh, select the SQL Server version from the available option. And friends, if in case you want me to install Deep Security Manager on any of the Linux supported uh, database like Oracle, then please let me know in the comment box below. If in case I receive more response, then I will show you how you can install your uh, Deep Security Manager as well as the database on Linux server. Now guys, since we have uh, two different different locations and the agent count is more than 500 nodes in our environment, hence here I am going to choose one single database and two DSM. Okay with that will be act as a load balancing and this both the servers will always act in active active mode and guys if in case my uh, dsm second is goes down then dsm one will take all the load and if in case the dsm one goes down then all load will be handled by dsm two i prefer to go with the two dsm server and single database 
now guys let's come back to the article and here we'll have to choose now ram for to choose the ram we'll have to go to the sizing as i said earlier for 500 or less than 500 much agents i have to go with the number two cpus 16 gb ram and in that jvm process memory will be 8, 8 gb and the size is required is 200 gb for two or more nodes so in our environment also we are going with the two nodes so that much of e-memory is enough but let me show you there is a trick here just scroll all the way down and here is a trick if you are going with the 500 g uh, number of nodes then the, for anti malware itself it required 10 gb and for web reputation it required 15 gb log inspection 20 gb firewall 20 gb ips 40 gb application control 100 gb and integrity monitoring 100 gb so the total size we required for our 500 agent is 300 gb but always go with the buffer basis on your retention period hence for 500 nodes i will always recommend to go with the 500 gb of your disk size for your sql database server and if you go more down then it will show you the virtual appliance sizing but right now we are not going to install on our uh, ovf file on our virtual appliance because this will be proper physical installation step by step so my total server size is 300 gb and now last point which is firewall ports if in case you are not allowed to provide full internet access to your deep security manager server so make sure basis on the your environment you have allowed all the ports which is required so that your deep security agent and deep security manager can communicate with each other as well as smart protection network and the active update server so please go through with all the details here and carefully watch this your firewall port requirement image and for more detail scroll all the way down because here they have listed all the port in detail along with the url required here you go so whitelist all these things in your firewall based on what are the things you are going to use in your network so friends that is the things we have to consider before installation of deep security manager so what we learn here let me tell you in deep security manager i'll be installing deep security manager on windows server 2019 64-bit for this i would require total two servers with same operating system the second thing is my deep security manager will be in HA mode so that it will be a work as active active the third thing is my database server so for database i am going to use microsoft sql server 2019 enterprise or standard edition and the fourth thing is hard disk so as per my requirement i would require initially 300 gb of hard disk but i am just keeping 200 gb of buffer size and my total size will become 500 gb for my sql server where my all the data is going to be saved in my sql server database which means the total uh, deep security manager servers are two with 100 gb of size or let's say 150 gb of size and my database server will total 500 gb now next is ram which is 24 gb for each dsm server and 16 gb for my database server the next point is two cpu two cpu is also for my each dsm server as well as the microsoft sql server and now last one is internet so whatever the port mentioned in the firewall port requirement url please allow all the port which is required in your environment and friends once this thing is done then you will be allowed to install deep security manager in your environment without any hiccups so friends i will you now you guys will be able to independently do the sizing of your deep security manager server and friends if in case you have any kind of question queries or concern then please feel free to type in the comment box below i will definitely try to answer each of your comments in next video we are going to see how to install deep security manager on your server so if in case you are new and haven't subscribed to my channel then please click on the subscribe button and don't forget to press on the bell icon so that whenever i'll upload new video you will be very first to notify that's it in this video this is sohan signing out i'll catch you in the next video till then bye bye